What's going on everyone? Austin John Please here and today I'm going to be going over how you're going to be able to get the sand boots, the snow boots, the Gerudo Vo outfit, the ruby circlet, sapphire circlet, topaz earrings, opal earrings, and amber earrings in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. The first piece we're going to be talking about is located here at Karakara Bazaar, and it's the only one by itself. And this is the Desert Vo headband, the headpiece of the Desert Vo outfit, which grants you heat resistance, the only full armor set in the game that does. Now, for the rest of it, we have to make our way to Gerudo Town. And you do not have to do the Gerudo quest line in order to get these articles of clothing. They are all going to be located at the secret shop, which is right about here on the map. And I'm going to be jumping back and forth between footage that I have of back before I actually helped out Gerudo Town and where I'm currently playing now. If you head inside of any of these wells, you're going to be able to find these rocks that you can very easily break and make your way left and left, climb up a very short little hill, more rocks to break, and eventually you're going to find these pillars. From here, you could use Ascend. And this is going to put you right in the middle of the showroom of the Gerudo Secret Shop. They are not going to like that. Here you're going to be able to find the other two articles of Desert Vo, including the Spalder, which is the middle piece, and the trousers, which are 650, those are the pants. In addition, over here you're going to be able to find the sand boots and the snow boots, of which I already bought because they make going through sand and snow significantly easier. If you already finish the Gerudo quest line after you make your way in there once, you can actually just go ahead and use this door and go in and out. By the way, if you didn't know, there are two sets of clothing that were removed from Breath of the Wild for Tears of the Kingdom, one being the ancient armor, and the other is the Gerudo female set that you needed in Breath of the Wild to enter Gerudo Town. They've removed that from the game and the requirement to be dressed up as a girl to enter Gerudo Town. So that outfit is not in the game whatsoever. When it comes to the jewelry, you're going to be able to buy three of the items before doing anything with the Riju questline, including talking to Riju. While you're in this underground aqueduct area, you're going to be seeing these floating bottles, and if you just follow it to the source and use Ascend, that's going to put you in the Gerudo secret shelter. A small cutscene may play your first time doing this if you haven't interacted with Riju yet, and then you're going to be able to have free access to the Gerudo secret shelter, even while the Gibdo are all over Gerudo town. Underneath here, you're going to be able to buy three of the specific pieces, being the ruby circlet, the sapphire circlet, and the amber earrings. However, after you finish the Gerudo quest line, you're going to be able to find the jewelry store over here, which you can still buy the same things, except now you have access to the other three. So all of them include the amber earrings, the opal earrings, the topaz earrings, the sapphire circlet, the ruby circlet, and the diamond circlet. The diamond circlet gives you attack up, which is different from what it used to do in Breath of the Wild, which was, I believe it was guardian resist. The ruby circlet gives you cold resistance. The sapphire is heat resistance. The topaz earrings are shock resistance, some of the most useless. The opal earrings give you swim speed up, correction, the most useless. And the amber earrings do absolutely nothing. Okay, those are technically more useless. But here we go. Here are gonna be all six of the earrings. When it comes to the jewelry, I'm not at the point in the game that I want to purchase them and then farm up all the resources and upgrade them because they stay high on the priority list and they're cumbersome and they get in the way of me being able to go through and actually get to the useful pieces of armor. In fact, I want to acquire every single thing in the game except for the armor, but the armor that I do have, I want to 100% upgrade it just because I don't have a reason to have all of these pieces of jewelry in my inventory and I'm not going to go into all the details on all of the specific upgrade costs because I'm going to be having a full video coming out about all of that but all of these specific pieces of jewelry require their specific gemstone such as the opal earrings require opal the diamond earrings require diamond so on and so forth like that they're also going to be requiring flint at the lower levels and some of them are going to be requiring star fragments at the higher levels the amber earrings and diamond circlet have the highest defense of 28 which is actually some of the highest defense in the game as opposed to the ones that are more useful like ruby sapphire topaz and opal that are all going to be giving you 18 to 20 when they're fully upgraded the sand boots and snow boots are very cheap to upgrade requiring only hightail lizards and then 
These sand boots require Gibdo bones and swift carrots, and then Gibdo bones, rushrooms, and Molduga fins. And then last level is Molduga fins, swift violets, and hardy lizards, as opposed to the snow boots, which are high tail lizards, and then Octorok tentacles and swift foot, Octo balloons, and 20 rushrooms. And then final level is two Nadra scales and 20 swift violets. Both of them have a defense of 20 when they're fully upgraded. Me personally, I do not plan on upgrading them not for a very, very long time because this is something that I'm going to throw on if I'm running across snow or sand, meaning that I'm choosing to not build a Zonai device and I'm not engaging in combat because once I'm in combat, I'm going to switch to something more useful. This is a utility piece of armor. There's no set bonuses. There's no reason to upgrade them. And when it comes to the Desert Vo outfit, this is the only set that's going to be giving me heat resistance. Pretty much everything else is going to be uh, flame proof. And it's gonna cost three Choo Choo Jelly for level one. Level two is five Choo Choo Jelly and three Cool Saflina. Level three is five Ice Key Swings, three Ice Breath Lizolfo Tails, and five Chill Shrooms. And the final level is five Ice Breath Lizolfo Horns, 10 Ice Breath Lizolfo Tails, and five Sapphires. It's pretty expensive to upgrade. And the set bonus is shock resistance level one. There's no reason for me to go ahead and upgrade this. In fact, if it wasn't for this video, I wouldn't be buying these pieces at all. I'm probably going to go ahead and get rid of the trousers and the spalder and just keep the headband because the only time I'm going to need two levels of heat resistance is when I'm in the middle of the desert in the middle of the day and I have a ruby Hylian shield for that. I grouped all these pieces of armor together because I don't plan on upgrading them. I don't plan on buying most of them, but if you're going for full completion of armor right now, this is how you're going to go about getting them. Although I will admit Link does look pretty cool in the Gerudo Vo outfit. Guys, let me know what you think about these armor sets, if you plan on actually picking them up, or if you have no interest in them whatsoever. Leave a comment down below. If you found this information helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.